Nor are you as a watcher of people. One question sort of passed through my mind that my grandfather, Senator Gore, was a, what they call a free thinker. And suddenly I'm surrounded by 200 relatives who really believe in our Lord. And up in that area, I mean, at every crossroads, there is a church, Baptist church, Methodist church. And this seemed to be, because I, I asked a couple, these are doctors, lawyers, these are not what they sometimes condescendingly call simple folk. They're very complicated and well-educated people. And this thing was the center of their lives. And I just wondered, you as one who has lived here all your life, is this something new? Did this start with the TV evangelicals and Billy Graham? Has this been consistent? I think it's been consistent. Yeah. I think it's just part of yeah. life here, especially in small towns. It's the center of activity and so on. It's, I had a visitor from New York one time who said, I've just come through Midtown in Jackson and something must be the matter. I saw all these streams of people pouring into the churches. And I said, well, it's Sunday. That's all that's happened. I think it is part of the way of life. I don't think it's new. But maybe it was the occasion, you know, everybody getting together. And from all over. And sort of establishing contacts and getting the connections. But uh, we had eight hymns at the beginning. That's and a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. Luckily, only one chorus of each. But uh, one thing I, th I think, in fact, because I have never seen the state of Mississippi before, and it was as green, I'm talking about uh, Chickasaw County and all, as I expected. But um, I did recognize some of the same. There was the Kentucky Fried Chicken stand, and there was yes, McDonald's. Yeah. Have you noticed that, that there's been more it's homogenization? Everywhere. Yeah, but I was thinking in a deeper sense, maybe, because mm -hmm. in those early days when nobody much left where they grew up, they really had certain aspects of character that you could identify with them. Like, everybody said, oh, those girls from the Delta, they're so fast. <laughs> you know, those girls from the, you can always tell a girl from the coast, you know, the high heels they wear and so on. <laughs> so we were forced to wear a uniform so that we couldn't see differences. But yeah. you could, by the way they did it. Uh, the way they arranged yeah, the, the collar way they, and the way they spoke. Well, all those things are now gone. So you really can't tell the Delta from anywhere from else. Upstate, yeah.